If you're an astronomy lover, you need to know about Messier 106. This galaxy is packed with secrets waiting to be uncovered. Messier 106, also known as NGC 4258, is a spiral galaxy located about 22 million light years away in the constellation Canes Venatici. It has an active nucleus, which means the core is super energetic due to a supermassive black hole. But that's not all. Messier 106 has something called anomalous arms, extra arms that glow in X-rays and radio waves. These arms are believed to be jets of material ejected by the black hole. Getting ready here to start finding my first galaxy, which is going to be NGC 4258. And that is such a beautiful galaxy. But first, as always, I need to do my uh, one star lightning. And um, this one is going to be with Dubai. Dubai? <laughs> And we're going just to send the telescope right there and see if I can just find it. Hey, right now, this is uh, the live view on Shark Cap, which is the one that I use. I like to do things simple. I have said this many, many times. So uh, this is what works for me. Maybe you have to do a lot more, but this is what works for me. The star and yeah, such a beautiful night. One thing about this telescope and this gear uh, is that it stays pretty much in focus. I don't know, but I don't have to do too many adjustments. Um, it always seems to be about right. Uh, right now, as I zoom in here, um, even that I'm moving now, uh, the stars seem to be pretty rounded to me. Yay, okay, so it's time. Let's go ahead for the first target, which is NGC 4258, that's such a beautiful, it, uh, Messier 106, it's such a beautiful galaxy, and as you can see, it's galaxy season, and we have all of these galaxies around, it's so exciting, uh, some of them I already photographed, so but look at all the galaxies around here, all of these little uh, circles, red circles are galaxies. It's just galaxies and galaxies. But now it's time. Let's just go ahead and send my telescope there. <laughs> and I have some lights here on so we can see, but let's just go ahead and send it. Go, baby, go. See, it's not that far from... Uh, ooh. <laughs> I do have a lot of lights here, uh, so you can see the telescope, but we're going to turn them off soon, okay? Very good. Okay, so uh, let me just go back to, whoop, there goes the satellite. <laughs> okay, so let me just go back to Shark Cap. Ooh, yeah, I'm not too far. That is my target right there. So all I need to do, because I know I have a Newtonian telescope that works with mirrors. Named after Sir Isaac Newton, Newtonian telescopes are a type of reflecting telescope. They use mirrors to gather and focus light, giving you incredibly clear views of distant stars and galaxies. The primary mirror collects light and bounces it to a secondary mirror, which then directs it to your eyepiece. Why mirrors and not lenses? Mirrors eliminate chromatic aberration, those annoying color fringes you see with lenses. They're also cheaper and easier to make large, so you can see more for less. My target, it's right in the middle, so this is going to be good. There it is. So I just need to move maybe like a, just a little bit. The dogs are barking, everybody, because they can hear me. I'm so excited here. Okay. Okay, so here's my target and everything looks great. Let's just go ahead and zoom in here. Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. There it is. And now it's time to take a quick look on uh, Nina. Okay, so now I am here on Nina and uh, what I am going to do is just go ahead and take a test photo. 
and I like to do 30 seconds and we're going to do this one I can do it with the optolong not a problem which is the luminance this is from the other night that I was photographing so now um, I haven't connect most of the gear yet so there's no guiding no nothing but let me just go ahead and do a test photo just for 30 seconds and now it's time to go in red oh yes Whoa, boy, yes, absolutely, woohoo, yes, this is so good, look at that, <laughs> and that is just 30 seconds, so um, there's other galaxies and things going on here, but that is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this is looking really good, I am so happy with this image first time photographing this galaxy so this is very very exciting i am going to do the two minutes exposure which is what works for me is um, i need to um, at some point i will upgrade and do um, probably <laughs> other maybe another camera another telescope but this actually works there goes PhD2, actually it's not that bad today. <laughs> Most of the time what I get here is an earthquake. So I will definitely set up uh, this imaging session. And now I am going to get this on Nina. And then I'm going to look up from the house. 